Hey Aqua Buddies, what's up? How are you? How's everything? I hope that your plants and your fish are doing very well. So guys, I made a video about the iron deficiency in the aquarium plants. And guys, I will share the link of that video. But guys, today's video is about the chlorosis in the plant. And this is very important phenomena and it is also related to the deficiency of iron somehow. But there are some other factors which we have to notice. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss that what is the chlorosis and what are the symptoms and how you can treat the chlorosis. So we are going to discuss everything in this one, guys. So guys, stay tuned and we are going to start the video. And before starting, please subscribe if you haven't. Okay, let's move ahead. Today we will talk about chlorosis. Chlorosis is a process in which green leaves of plants turn yellow or light green due to lack of chlorophyll. Chlorosis is also found in aquarium plants. Most of the times it has been observed that green leaves of aquarium plants become yellow or light green and in extreme cases. Leaves may turn into white color. In case of red color plants, red leaves turn into light pink color. In this video we will learn about Number 1 what are the causes of chlorosis? Number 2. What are the symptoms of chlorosis in aquarium plants? Number 3. How to treat chlorosis? First of all we talk about causes of chlorosis. There are different causes of chlorosis in the aquarium plants, which include 1. Deficiency of nutrients 2. Damaged or compacted roots of plants 3. High pH of soil Chlorosis is caused by deficiency of iron, zinc or manganese in aquarium plants. Leaves of plants starting yellow from outer edges towards central part of leaves in case of iron deficiency. And in case of zinc or manganese deficiency leaves turn yellow from central part first then it spreads towards outer edges. Damage and compacted roots of aquarium plants also cause chlorosis. Because plants gets all nutrients from water or soil through the roots. If roots are damaged then they might not able to transport nutrients to the leaves and hence it also creates yellow leaves. Another main reason for chlorosis in aquarium plants is high pH of soil. Higher the pH of aquarium soil means the more alkaline soil is. Below 7. The soil is of acidic natural and if the pH crosses 7, it becomes alkaline. 7 is the neutral pH. Iron becomes more insoluble as the soil pH climbs above 6.5 to 6.7. With most plants, iron can only be absorbed as a free ion when the pH is between 5.0 and 6.5. So it is the optimal range of pH for good growth of aquarium plants. Now we see what are the symptoms of chlorosis in aquarium plants. Aquarium plants start turning yellow or yellowish green or in some extreme cases leaves may get white color. It is lac or chlorophyll which gives green colors to the plants. Red aquarium plants may turn from red to pink color or light reddish pink color shades, showing symptoms of chlorosis. Now let's talk about how to treat chlorosis in aquarium plants. First of all you need to find out the reason for chlorosis in your aquarium plants. Number 1. Physically observe the condition of the aquarium plants, the leaves and roots. If roots of the plant seems okay and healthy then observe the leaves of the plants. Leaves of the plant will show you signs of deficiency of nutrients as stated earlier, like deficiency of iron, zinc or manganese. If you are using liquid fertilizer in your aquarium on regular basis and still your plants are showing chlorosis symptoms then you need to check pH of water and soil. If your aquarium has high pH then you definitely need to bring it down to optimum range 5 to 6.5. For lowering the pH you can take these steps. 1. Use reverse osmosis water or so ionized water in aquarium. 2. You can add a piece of driftwood in your aquarium. 3. You can add up katapa leaves or Indian almond leaves to lower the pH. 4. Adding peat moss into your aquarium will also help you to reduce the pH. Hopefully these steps will help for treatment of chlorosis in aquarium plants. Aquarium plants always looks attractive and appealing when they are in full bloom and colors. So don't let your plants to get chlorosis.